Okay, here is something a little bit different. We don't do too many walk-arounds of an FJ55, the Iron Pig. And isn't she a classic beauty? This one is 1977, so I'll go into a bit of detail of how fancy this was back in the 70s. This one belongs to Dan. Dan lives on the Sunshine Coast and has had it for about 18 months. It comes from and has spent its whole entire life in the Atherton Tablelands up north. And I'd say it's been garaged, it's in pretty nice condition and they dropped the boat in the water and things like that but they've kept it away from the salt. So this is one, it's pretty rare that they're, um, they're not flogged out. This is such a beautiful example. And Dan actually bought this 18 months ago but he's only had it on the road or in his care for a couple of months. It needed an engine conversion. So this one had, it came out with a petrol engine, Dan bought it with a 2H. 2H was flogged, so he gave it to some mates to put a 12HT in it, and now it's got a 12HT. But when you give mates something to do, they take a bit longer than a normal garage, so he bought it 18 months ago, and he's only just finally got it back into his care and starting to enjoy it. And that's why it's in Mr. Land Cruiser. So our job on this one for this visit is a little like a roadworthy. We've given it um, what we call a three-hour report. We go right through it, get it off the ground, and look for any faults we can find. And we found 27 items on that list. Uh, if Dan would like to address them in the future, and we'll slowly go through that with him when he picks it up. Richard's got to go for a drive in it, I've got to go for a drive in it, so we can't quite tell Dan that it's ready to leave us yet. So we want to enjoy it a little bit because again, we don't see too many iron pigs here at Mr. Land Cruiser. And going through the exterior of this vehicle, look at the color, so this is not a factory uh, brown that came out or a gold. It's got a bit of a speckle in it because it's a Maserati colour. Someone's chosen uh, that for this instead of the dirty old brown and it's come up really, really nice. I can only imagine when it was freshly painted. On the outside, the bull bar looks a bit homemade, but back in 77, that could have been the dealer. They could have, you might have paid for that. Now, the exterior of this, it's got some aftermarket flares, aftermarket stone protector or whatever this actually does on vehicles. It's got one of those. And, but just get a load of it. All the different little trims on this that you don't find on other models, like back here, how cool is this? Uh, on the rear of it, the reverse lights, the stop lights, you just don't find them on other models. Now, in 1977, this was a family wagon. Toyota wasn't offering anything else. Well, in 76, the Troopy began. It was a soft top and the Troopy began, but before that, predominantly the Iron Pig, the 55 was it. I do want to show you under the bonnet of this one what's going on with the 12 HT. He's chosen nice, it's a beautiful engine, let's pop the hood. Get a look under here, this is not the first 12 HT in a 55, but there's a few little differences here. This engine, uh, the current owner, the new owner Dan, says it is out of a 60 series, but it's got a few little different things. Look at the crossover here. Now Richard tells me that he's seen these in the coaster bus, so they're a lot flatter and the, the 12 HTs in coasters are under your bum, so they make things a little bit flatter and that reeks of coaster. And there's an extra little uh, shutdown on the fuel pump there that we've only seen on coaster buses as well. So it sort of leaves, maybe it came out of a 60, maybe it started life in a coaster bus. This one is no longer running the fan, we've got some electric fans up there. We've got a custom made um, air filter box. Now, one thing I noticed, it was it was probably a home job. It's a bit of a job to get your air filter out, but otherwise it fits in there nicely. Um, one thing we have noticed with this one is the way the mounts have been moved several times. So we could only guess there might've been a V8 in it. There was a 2H in it. They could have had multiple uh, setups in this because all the welding and the moving of mounts on the chassis. That's pretty much it. It's just something unique to see inside this engine bay. Okay, this is what I love. This is the bit I want to talk about is inside this thing. So we've got uh, bench seats, uh, front and rear. You can fit a lot of people. This was designed for a family. This one has some really unique stuff. Uh, the door cards, just a little bit fancier with all the trims and lines in it. Every door has an ashtray. Even the kids could have a little ciggy 
back in 1977, which is cool. Maybe not so cool. And this one, since day dot, it's got the genuine aircon system. So imagine that. We're talking 1977. There's only a few of these on the road and they're driving around in the stifling heat with the windows up. People would have thought they were crazy, but that's really cool. And this particular vehicle, if we look at that dash, that's why it says that it's been in a garage its, its whole life because it is in such excellent condition. It's still got a very old tape deck. All the switches are all still there. It's just really unique. The way you lift the, um, the bonnet up, get the bonnet up it's got its own unique things that you don't see uh, in the 40s and other models it, it's virtually that this this car has its own series of part numbers these seats these seats have been reupholstered uh, normally I believe all of them have headrests and that's on Dan's list to get headrests back in this one and if you look behind me you will notice that there are car seats so the whole purchase of this vehicle is to have fun and the family can grow up Turing in an just a very old classic car which is really cool there's a few rips in the hood lining things aren't perfect but I'll, t I'll tell you the floor is in absolutely beautiful condition so um, I don't know if the, the K's are, are true on the clock because she um, hasn't done too many K's but just the interior is in such lovely condition it does have a couple of aftermarket gauges here um, beside my knee and they have been there a very very long time too they, they reek of um, um well the lower one reeks of the 70s 80s in the back in the back these have a really unique uh tailgate system they did come out in ambulance doors this one has the drop down so you can utilize um, that space and also you can wind the window down in the back the dog can poke its head out while you're driving and things like that some fresh air can come in that way not that you'd need it with aircon Okay, what I didn't mention while I was sitting in there was this one still has its both manuals. Um, the outsides look a bit shabby, but inside still got all the material, all the specs. Really cool bit of collectible stuff to go with this. So I dare say it's only had um, two owners, Atherton and now Dan. A few things I haven't mentioned about how this is so cool. It does have disc brake front and disc brake rear. Now, neither of those come out in 1977 and someone has made their own adapters for the rear and put the the 60 series calipers on there so uh, not something we could do off the shelf it's really cool someone got innovative there and it's got the factory power steer box and another thing you can't have a 12 ht without a five speed so she's got the five speed in there well you can but you'll rev the tits off of it so it's got the five speed in there so disc brake all around power steer five speed 12 ht all in a 55 very very cool look at these mirrors too they're um only on the 55 chrome really cool they don't cover much area but why would you change them now the future plans for this one dan wants to protect the body he lives on the sunshine coast so this thing needs protection and there's a few spots the paint's coming through the rust is starting. Well, it's, it's mainly surface. Uh, the roof's in beautiful condition. So to stay on top of it, to have that lifestyle, he's gonna see a friend, a customer of uh, Mr. Land Cruiser, Marcus. Marcus has done a full resto on the exact same model of car. So he's in good hands there. So future plans is the body on this one. Time to give her a tickle and we'll see him again at Mr. Land Cruiser and I can't wait.